Okay, uh, hello Year 6, it's Mr Harris here bringing you Thursday's literacy lesson. Uh, you can tell again, I'm dressed in my bike kit because I cycled to school. Remember what I said? Keep the exercise going whilst you're also doing your learning, just like I'm doing now. Um, so yesterday you will have produced some combinations of interesting places and abstract nouns. And today, what I've done is I've gone through a few of my ideas and I've selected them, my top 10, which we're going to narrow down in a moment. Before we start to select my very favourite ones though, I'm going to read them out loud. It's really important to uh, read your writing out loud. Great writers will read back their work, play around with it. So, let's go through my top 10. So I had the village of dreams, the dreamy village, uh, the church of love. Okay, we said yesterday is where people get married, could be a good place to talk of that. Um, the island of curses. Hmm, this is standing out to me, that one. What does it make me think of? I'm thinking of a faraway land. Um, maybe people get trapped on the island, that's why it's seen as cursed. The Maze of Torment, another interesting one I've picked out there. Uh, Station of Pain was one from yesterday. The Mansion of Loneliness, a lonely mansion. I start to think as a reader, why would the mansion be lonely? I get images in my hand of maybe someone on their own in this huge mansion, maybe struggling to find happiness. Um, the Tunnel of Hope. Change that from the tunnel of despair, because actually I'm thinking maybe it could be the way out of any difficulty. We've got the hospital of torture, maybe there'll be an evil doctor there who's torturing his patients. Um, the river of anxiety it might conjure up the thoughts of a story, a journey down a river where different things happen. And then finally, the school of lies. Hmm, this could be a place where children are getting into trouble, where there's no truth, I think of it. There's my ten. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, and I want you to do as well, once you've got your ten combinations, is narrow them down to your top five. And I'm going to do that now. So, in at number five, I have got the Mansion of Loneliness. I'm going to write that next to it. Circle it. In at number four, the hospital of torture. In at number three, we have the maze of torment. Number two, in second place, the school of lies. These are all titles I think I could make some story out. But in at number one, my top combination, is the Island of Curses. Now, as a teacher children, we have to justify this, we have to give reasons. So, I've given you a couple of com uh, sentence starters here for you to write your own reasons why you've picked those combinations as your favourite. So, my first one, a combination I like is mm, because. I'm going to give you an example then, I'm going to pick my Mansion of Loneliness um, a combination I like is the Mansion of Loneliness because it makes me think of someone who is rich but cannot find happiness since they are alone. So I've used that conjunction because as well as since. Uh, I've used another uh, abstract noun actually, happiness, they couldn't find happiness and the adjective alone, that's to give that reason. Um, I'm going to now try and write a second one. So, uh, another favourite of mine was the Maze of Torment. So, the Maze of Torment is an interesting combination. Now, I always need to give a reason. I've already used because up here, so I'm going to think of another one. Can you think of another 
conjunction that is a synonym for because. You've got a chance to do this now. I'm going to pick as. The Maze of Torment is an interesting combination as, a bit like because there. I can imagine, this is all about your imagination. Well, what can I imagine in the maze of torment? Well, someone feeling tormented uh, whilst being trapped in a maze. I'm just going to write being trapped there as I'm running out of space. So let's just read that one out again. The maze of torment is an interesting combination as I can imagine someone feeling tormented while being trapped in a maze, perhaps even in a maze of horrors, there's things that are tormenting them. Um, and final chance uh, to use a sentence starting here. Uh, my favourite combination is the island of curses because I can imagine a faraway island where people go missing. Right children, it's down to you now. So, your tasks. You're going to write out ten of the combinations that you have created. I then want you to rank your top five. Five, four, three, two, one. I then want you to write three sentences to give a reason why they are your favourite combinations using those sentence structures or if you have your own then you can use those as well. Okay, hope you enjoyed today's lesson, can't wait to see what you've got. Email it into the Year 6 email address or complete the to-do on Purple Mash. Any questions, ask on the blog, ask on the email address. Okay, I'm out of here.